Greetings and welcome back. Um, in the last video, I named this as Canvas Data, and here I mistakenly wrote Canvas. So let me go ahead and change that. There was also a typo here. I had one extra R. Uh, I removed that also. So you should maybe go ahead and remove that if you are having this same mistake. So with that said, I would like to start creating the server code so that we can finally see how to mm, communicate between the client and the server. So I'll right click here and create a new Java class. I'd like to have that also in a package. And I'm going to call it WS server, which is my own abbreviation for WebSocket server. Now in Java, there are two ways in which we can program WebSocket. We can either do it by the use of annotations or we can do it programmatically. I'm just going to use annotations here. And in order to make a Java class into a, a WebSocket server, all we need to do is to annotate it with a server endpoint annotation, this one. This takes a value, which is basically the URL that the client is going to need to communicate to this server. I'll also call it WS server, like so. Now, the way WebSocket works is as follows. The client initiates um, a connection. Uh, all of this goes through a process known as handshaking, but at the end of the day, a method that we're going to annotate here with um, add on open annotation is going to be fired and is going to be provided with a session object that we can then use to communicate back to the client. So let me go ahead and create a new WebSocket connection. So first of all, we need a URL. I'll declare that variable URL and we declare that as follows. WebSocket, we are running on our local host. So this will be local host. Our server is running on port 8080. And then we pass in the name of this application is WS. Oh, that is capital S. Come S, like so. And we pass in this value that we declared here. I'll just copy that and paste it here. So, and let's go ahead and create a new WebSocket connection. So I'll do var, I'll just call it socket. This is new WebSocket. And we'll pass in the URL. Now our new connection has been created and back on the client side, on the server side, sorry, this method will be fired. So let me go ahead and create it public void I'll call it on open you can call it whatsoever you want and um, it takes in a session variable as I said and most importantly we need to annotate it with add on open annotation this one so I don't really want to do anything special here. Uh, maybe you have a logic, something that you want to do here when the mm, a connection is open. Maybe you want to go to the database and check something on order light. There's a lot of things that one can do here. But here I will just kind of lock this to the console. Mm, this out. Mm. Let me just do the screen here and lock it to the console. Okay. So when the client sends a message, a method that we are going to annotate here with add on message annotation is going to be fired. And in the same manner, when mm, the server sends a message, uh, a method that we are going to uh, declare here in javascript also is going to be fired okay so let's start by sending the message from the client to the server 
so I will do that in this red canvas method and um, so on the client side we send the information like this socket.send and this is how uh, WebSocket sends information in JavaScript okay and I would like to wrap all what we want to send in a blob so I'll just say new oops new blob remember a blob represents a file that is not necessarily native to JavaScript so we can send it to other programming languages and use it and inside here I want to send this uh, array of characters as byte okay so we do it like this i'll just say here new uh, i'll use the unsigned integer 8 array type which should basically convert this our charles um, into byte of uh, unsigned integer type the good thing with blobs is that we can as well specify the type of information that we want to send. So in this case, we want to send in um, images. So I'll say here type is images, so image of type JPEG. Uh, that is done. This is how we send the information to the server. And back on the server, we need to see how to uh, receive this information okay so i'll go back to the server code and i'll create a method public void i'll call it on message it takes in a session uh, session and the information that we are sending so we're sending some bytes i'll just do this and i'll call it img it stands for images and most importantly we annotate it with on add on message annotation like so good so all what they want to do here is to just send back this information to the same client now there is a lot of things that one can do here uh, maybe you have another kind of logic but uh, this is just to demonstrate what we can do so here mm, i'll face wrap this byte in a buffer and just send it back to the same client so i'll create a byte buffer here mm -hmm. so that is byte uh, buffer like so i'll just call it both and this will be byte buff dot wrap this like so and now i will just send the information back to the same client so we use its session object which has declared here at ss that get basic remote that send binary you can also see here the different kind of messages that one can send so we're sending back binary and it's this both this throws an exception so let's cache that I'll just surround this with a try cache block like so and this is it the information is being sent so I'll just go ahead and finish with the um, with the server when the connection is closed a method that we're going to annotate with uh, on close annotation will be called here so let me just do that as well public void um, I'll call it unclose it also takes a session so on close annotation and here you can also go ahead and implement your own kind of logic or just do this session that close or just close this session it also kind of throws an exception and I'll catch that so we're done with the server all what we have to do on the client now is to receive this information that we are sending back here okay so back on the client i'm going to create a method that is the that is javascript websocket base so i'll do socket 
use the socket that add event listener and the event type is message so there is a callback function here with an object of event and finish like so so the data that is coming from the client is available in this event object or what we want to do now is to access that data and continuously place it on our image tag and we are done so we do that like this I declared this image variable up here let me check that yes this one is our image tag so all what I need to do here is to do image that uh, source and we place the information there as follows window dot url dot create object url and we pass in event dot data and basically we are done mm, if you want you can also go ahead and create uh, a method here that is the on open method you can also do socket oops socket dot on open method I'll create it as follows uh, on open like so now I just create it like this oh. function on open it also has an event I won't be using it I'm just demonstrating what is possible and with this we should basically be done uh, so if everything goes well we should see good results on the browser so let me go ahead and test this so I'll right click here run run on server next finish so let me run this on the browser on chrome so something is clearly wrong let us see what that is we have an error uh, yeah I named this wrongly so let's go ahead and fix that mm, that is wrong this one in the send oh this is on the client here you int all right this one so i'll stop this and just rerun it again it's done i'll just refresh this and see yeah and as you can see everything is now working perfectly see this is the video from our webcam that is the video that we have drawn on the canvas element let me close this here and this is the video that is coming from our server I see so you can also go ahead and play with uh, this time here or is that method you can go ahead and play with this time here and see what happens okay so this is it guys uh, please if you feel that you have learned something from here uh, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up this is like my first ever tutorial that really shows how to code something on YouTube I might have made a lot of uh, maybe you know errors in my talking and all the light but mm, I promise I'll get really better 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 as we continue so bye bye